You wouldn't try me! Stay I'm in like, the blue box. No, hold on. Stay in the blue box. You... You wanna taste me? No. Do it. Stay in the I blue like box. It. I like it, Kiki. Stay in the blue box, Grace. Please! I do not feel safe with taking off in this car. I need a female officer to put a seatbelt over my body before we leave. What's your date of birth? May 28th, 1974. Here come Jim and I, look at you. You so damn handsome. Thank you. Today we're reviewing insane body cam footage of entitled and drunk prima donnas trying to flirt their way out of DUI charges. A Miller Lite. Yes. <laughs> I won't lie to you, a Miller Lite. That's, that's all you've had. Yes, sir. You can ask Zachary. And still end up on the wrong side of the law. So without further ado, here are four unbelievable arrests where suspects react to being caught driving drunk by miserably attempting to seduce the officers busting them. Our first fiasco starts with 48-year-old Kelly Barton, who was at the center of a disturbing drunk driving incident captured on police body cams in Blue Ash, Ohio. On the 11th of May, 2023, Barton was working for Ohio Valley Residential Services, transporting patients with special needs. But on this day, she made the terrible decision to drive one of those vulnerable clients while extremely intoxicated. The cops try to wake Barton up and get her out of her co-worker's vehicle. Barton recklessly ends up crashing her client's vehicle into a lamppost. When officers arrived, they found Barton's co-worker, who was called to the scene to pick up the special needs patient, Robert, who sat in the front likely frightened and confused. The co-worker explains to the police what happened based on what Robert told her. Barton is seen completely passed out drunk in the back seat of the co-worker's car. The cops proceed to enter the gas station to review the security footage to confirm Barton was indeed the one who was driving. Security footage proved without a doubt that she was lying. I've been at work since seven o'clock this morning, so I don't know if she hit something in the middle or what, but Robert just keeps saying she hit a lamppost. Okay. And she said she had to avoid a hole. I don't know what this is. She shredded the back of that. She's she in the back popped. of my car. It's good. She gets out of the car. She gets out of the car. Yeah, let's test right. her. That's she fine. Goes. Right. And she gets to charge with, uh, I think it's neglect because if he's, dead, he's disabled. However, she initially denied driving, despite Robert confirming she had hit the lamppost. Barton's inappropriate behavior toward the responding officers and EMTs was nothing short of shocking. In an even more hilariously shocking twist of events, after failing every sobriety test known to man and woman, Barton admitted to having too much to drink. Ultimately, the officers had no choice but to put her in handcuffs for driving while impaired with a vulnerable patient in the vehicle. What's your date of birth? May 28th, 1974. Here come Jim and I, look at you. You so damn handsome. Thank you. You know I can't do it. Okay. You know no I can't do it. Okay. Uh, Wait a minute. Okay. okay, for your safety, we're, we're just gonna stop right there, okay? I don't have a home address. Where, where do you stay? In a shelter. In a shelter? We'll figure something out, okay? Hold on, let me try. Y'all. Well, we're done with even, the test. Even if I was sober, I couldn't do this test. She was uncooperative and immediately starts flirting with the officers as a last ditch Hail Mary effort to avoid getting convicted. She repeatedly continued to flirt with them. Look at your hands. Do you want the light squad to check you, ma'am? Let them do what they gotta do. Come on, boys. Calling the officers handsome and making other unacceptable comments, guess this suspect is truly sus. It took significant effort for the officers to remove Barton from the vehicle and place her in handcuffs. She immediately proceeded to complain and object the entire time to deaf ears. No. Kelly, I just need you to relax with me, okay? Right here. No, listen, why are you Kelly, handcuffing Kelly, me? Kelly, Kelly. But tell me why. You're under arrest for operating a vehicle while I'm there, okay? I got two fingers in this one, just in case. Look, we put three on there. We put don't three on there to be don't comfy. Do that. Don't, don't do, do that, that, Kelly. We got three on there to be so comfy. so pleasant. We've been pleasant to you. Nah, y'all f***. Okay. Kelly. Let me stop. Okay, she's already too resistant. Okay, For safety well, reasons. No, 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 you are. No, 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 we don't need any more cuffs. I didn't know there was two no, on there. No, no. I didn't know. Just listen to them and everything will go fine, okay? okay. 
they taking me in for? What did I do? Operating vehicle while under the influence of alcohol no, or drugs or other no, controlled no, substances. No, no, Stop right you. Have any, you have anything on you? Yep. Any cash in your pocket? Anything at all in your pockets? No, Nothing sir, at all. I don't. Okay. None of that one. Yep. Okay. There is something back here. What? So. What is? I don't know. Help me out. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. It's the key to the Toyota. Nice. Yeah. Unlock my hand. That was the key. That was the key to the car? That was the key. Yes, right. sir. Very good. We're going to go to this side of the car here. All right. We're going to have a seat in my car. It's like five minutes top to the police department. We'll be back out of the car. And as long as you keep being nice, we're going to take those handcuffs right back off. But my policy says that I have to have the handcuff. That's my boss right there. You don't want me to get in trouble, do you? I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, much, what you got me for now? I, I think. Talk about living on the edge. Barton was subsequently charged with DUI and endangering a special needs client. She was also terminated from her job transporting patients. Justice has been served, and no amount of flirting with the law could have prevented her from escaping accountability. Although Barton's inappropriate conduct toward first responders is hilarious. Kelly, I gotta read a piece of paper to you, okay? Oh, wow. Because I have to, all right? What kind of piece of paper? Well, it's, it's explaining why you are where you are. you so handsome. Why, y'all? I ain't that. done nothing. That'll, that'll go really well with that. Listen, y'all, I have not done nothing. Okay. Here we go. It, it didn't look like I got a band-aid. Like, okay. I don't like needles, right? Hey, I don't right? like nobody sticking me with needles, but this was I've done in me like. Okay, Kelly. You are now under the arrest. This entire situation is a dangerous and sobering reminder not to drink and drive, especially when you are responsible for the safety and well being of other people. But our next incident takes on a darker, borderline creepy turn. 21 year old Grace Spoonamore found herself in hot water after Ohio police were about to arrest the woman for drunk driving and erratic behavior. But that's just scratching the surface. What transpired following her arrest took on a far more dramatic turn, almost to a scary level. On April 30th, 2023, police body cams first captured Spoonamore crashing into another vehicle. When officers pulled her over, she resisted arrest and refused to answer basic questions about her identity or residence. I'm asking you questions, you answer. Okay, and I will answer. Why did you... Get on me like that. Hornet six headquarters, it's a female. All right, step out. A white step female. Out. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Why did you take off like that? I'm sorry. Were you drinking or something? No. Where are you coming from? Bro. Spoonamore initially denied drinking. Then, after failing her sobriety test, she admitted to consuming two doubles of tequila before. She then proceeded to up the number of her confession to three doubles. Officers kept referring to her as drunk, numerous times throughout the incident as well. Spoonamore repeatedly tried calling friends, unable to recall her own personal details, clearly indicating from the get-go that something is not right with her. Spoonamore then began shamelessly flirting with the officers. Don't hit me with a what? What do you need? Don't try me because I used to be a paramedic. Okay. All Don't right. hit me with a what you need. Okay, what do you... Because I know All that right. you want to listen to more than what I got. What is You want name? a drug bust. What's that? You want a drug bust. Don't you? Do so you have drugs in the car? I don't. Okay, all right. And you want to check it? We are going to check my, it. My trick? That vehicle is going to get towed. Okay. So you're going to give me the clothes out of it? All right, yeah, we'll get what you need out of it. What is your name? Stay in the right. car. Stay in the car. Okay, I understand. Get in the car. I, okay. Get your leg in the car. Listen, handsome man. Get your leg in the car. Calling one handsome and saying inappropriate things 
even asking the officer to use his taser gun on her because she likes it kinky. Her comments became increasingly unhinged as time went on. As officers tried to get her in the squad car, Spoonamore had a meltdown, screaming about bleeding out, among other outlandish claims, such as the Mexican cartel. Spoonamore also spat on the officer. She also kicked off her shoes in an attempt to escape. So, how are you? Good. Good. How are you? Good. Okay. Alright. What do you want? No, what I do don't want? believe you! What do you want? I don't believe you! For what? I don't believe you at all! For what? Because I've been abducted and cut up and left on the street for these. The aggressive drunk woman continued acting belligerent, yelling and kicking the whole time. At one point, she claimed to be a former paramedic, despite her extremely intoxicated state. In the end, Spoonamore was charged with DUI, obstruction of officers and jail time, for her erratic, dangerous behavior. No, Stay there. I want to take them all! Okay! I want to be my pin! You wouldn't try me! Stay I'm in worried. the blue box. No, hold on. Stay in the blue box. You... You want to taste me? No. Do it. Stay in the I blue like box. It. I like it kinky. Stay in the blue box, Grace. Don't. Stay in the blue box. Step back. You can touch Step me. Step back. You touch me. Just stay in that blue box. No. Look. No! Yes! You don't want me here! You don't want me here! Stay in the blue box. No! Get the fuck out of me! Just stay there. Get the fuck You didn't catch my abductor! You didn't catch the person that sent me into prison! You didn't catch them! Stay in the blue box. You didn't catch me! Stay in the blue box. You didn't catch me, and you didn't catch them! You go let people slice and dice your community before you let them Connect the pieces. Just stay in the blue box. Don't touch me. She. No, I don't need she. She is urinating I everywhere. Am, I. Yes, all in the back seat of my don't, car. Yes, I did. This disturbing body cam footage shows why drunk driving is never a good idea. Clearly, Spoonamore had been going through some underlying trauma, but that doesn't excuse her unlawful drunk driving, police officer seducing actions to avoid time behind bars. Stay right here. No! No, y'all wanna rape me! Stop! Y'all wanna rape me! If this incident wasn't bizarre enough, wait till you see the next one, where a woman's drunk driving made an officer laugh uncontrollably. 21-year-old Brooke Teague also found herself in deep drunk driving trouble. On one night in January 15th, 2023, Officer Nathan Smith of the Bentonville Police Department spotted the woman swerving erratically in her black SUV. According to Officer Smith's body cam footage, he observed Teague's vehicle crossing lane dividers multiple times as she drove westbound on S.E. Walton Boulevard. After nearly hitting the curb, he conducted a traffic stop in a parking lot. Hello. Hey, I'm Officer Smith, Bentonville Police Department. Nice hey. to meet you, Mr. Smith. Um, I've never heard that before on a traffic stop. I appreciate that. Um, hey, so I'm just stopping you for improper lane use. Sorry, I was stuff. on the phone. You're on the phone? I'll be honest. Okay. Who are you on the phone with? My baby daddy. I'll show it to you too. Okay. Yeah. You can talk to him if you where, want. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from JJ's. I just got off. I'm going to street. Go home. Yeah. Okay. You live on street? Yes, sir. In Bentonville? Yeah. Okay. What time did your shift end at JJ's? It ended at 10.30. Okay. Did you have to clean up and all that yep. stuff? How much do you have to drink tonight? Only one drink. Just one drink? Yep. Yes, Final sir. answer. Miller. A Miller Lite? Yes. <laughs> I won't lie to you, a Miller Lite. That's, that's all you've had? Yes, sir. You can ask Zachary. I don't really want to talk I to Zachary. I know you don't, but I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Officer Smith immediately noticed Teague exhibited signs of intoxication like bloodshot eyes and slurred speech. Though she claimed only one drink that night, Teague struggled to perform sobriety tests, swaying and losing balance during the walk and turn and one leg stand. Well, you sure you don't have like a blanket you can throw on yourself? I really don't. I just cleaned my car out, to be honest with you. Okay. I just moved. All right, step right in this circle that I just made. Okay. And face this way. Okay. All right. 
Mm. Can you imagine a straight line coming out of your left foot? You can. Okay. Put your right foot in front of your left foot on that imaginary line. Keep your arms at your side and just relax. Okay, don't move until I tell you to do so. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. All right. For this test, I'm going to take nine heel to toe steps down the imaginary line, make a small turn, and then take nine more heel to toe steps back down that imaginary line with your arms at your side, looking down at your feet, and counting out loud. It's going to look and sound like this. One, two, three, so on and so forth until you get to nine. Assuming this is your lead foot, take a series of small steps exactly like so to turn around, and then take nine more heel to toe steps back down the imaginary line. One, two, three, so on and so forth until you get to nine. For demonstration purposes, I'm doing three. Remember, you're doing nine, okay? During this test, remember, keep your arms at your side, look down at your feet, count out loud, and do not stop the test until you've completed the test. Okay. Okay, do you have any questions? Yes, sir. Do you understand the test? Yes, sir. All right, remember, keep your arms at your side, okay? You can begin whenever you're ready. With Teague unable to complete the field tests, Officer Smith placed her under arrest for driving while impaired. A search of her SUV revealed vomit in the cup holders. You've actually had a drink. I've had two Millers. Two Millers now? That's it? Yes, sir. You can call Mitchell the manager. Okay. Well, hey, go ahead and put your hands on your back for me, okay? I have a son. Can my... So, come get the car? Hold on one second. 971 is 1015. He's on the phone still. Who is? My baby daddy. It's on the dashboard. Okay. I was not listening to what she said. <laughs> oh, it's puke. It smells like puke. Look. It's like puke or something. It is puke. I'm going to throw up. I didn't realize it until just now. That is puke. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> the station, Teague agreed to a breathalyzer test, which registered her blood alcohol level at 0.14%, nearly twice the legal limit. All right, big deep breath in, blow really hard until I tell you to stop. Keep going, 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 perfect. All right. Did he make it work? No, I said you can. I can stand. No, you can go over there. I can go over there. Let me, uh. Okay. Let me close this thing out. You're good. I'll wait till you tell me. Just sign out here. Alright, another thing to go over. Okay. So, having taken the officer's tests, you have the right to an additional test or tests to determine the alcohol control substance or other toxic content of your blood. So basically what that means is if you don't like the test, the um, deal back there, uh, I take you to Northwest Medical Center, they admit you under your own insurance. Okay. Um, so do you want another test from Spence? Yes or no? So do you have to put your hand past me in the you don't want right now? Dude, I was asking if you wanted that one. No. Alright, stand up. For her dangerous drunk driving, Brooke Teague is now charged with DUI. The disturbing body cam footage shows how a routine traffic stop can quickly uncover an alarming case of intoxicated driving. But some suspects take their excessive drunk driving antics to the next level, as we'll see with our final entrant. 31-year-old Brittany Bianchi also had her wild rodeo against the law. On October 21st, 2023, Brittany was in the midst of a drunken hot mess. She was speeding down the street when the flashing lights of Officer Johnson's patrol car appeared in her rearview mirror. As Officer Johnson approached her vehicle, the pungent smell of alcohol emanated from within. I haven't had anything to drink tonight, claimed Brittany, feigning innocence. 
But we're not talking about that. That's old news. So we're talking about the current news right now, correct? That I'm not familiar with, and you're telling me that, that I'm being notified of what? That you're suspended. You were, of what? Okay, we're not we're not talking about. Okay, let's talk about old news. The system is telling me that you received notices of your suspension. Of what suspension? Your license suspension. That's why I'm asking you about it. My license. If that tells me you received a notice of the suspension, it implies you have knowledge of it. So that's why I'm asking you about it. Of my knowledge, my notice of the suspension has not been notified to me at all in any way, shape, or form. I have a valid license. There's no reason of any way, shape, or form that my license is suspended at all. I'm telling you now it is suspended. Of what? For what? Uh, uh, For what? Because I'm not familiar with the system. For what? I'm asking why my license is suspended. Because financial responsibility. No. We're going to stop there. How much do you have to drink? Zero. I do not drink. I don't drink. I have no reason to. I don't drink it. I'm asking you because you passed me at 125 miles an hour. I can smell the alcohol. I have a bloodshot water. You're stirring your words. She rattled off claims of valid insurance and a valid license as well, all of which were false. Officer Johnson was unconvinced. He requested Brittany perform a field sobriety test, but she point blank refused. Sensing her intoxication, Officer Johnson placed Brittany under arrest for DUI. What followed was a barrage of hilariously belligerent behavior. Brittany hurled expletives and accusations, refusing to comply with a breathalyzer test. She claimed her high-priced lawyer would make mincemeat out of Officer Johnson in court. It's all on video surveillance, so that's fine. We can go about it that route, since you're obviously at the... Ooh. It's just not going to hold up well for you in court. Like, all the video surveillance that you have right now is just going to hold up very poorly for you in court, so I'm glad. You have no... You have no proof that I was drinking. You have no proof that I was doing anything wrong except for speeding. And all that is is a reckless driving charge. So everything you're doing right now is just to inconvenience my life for what? Like I have a seven year old at home. Like I'm not, I'm not doing anything wrong but speeding and you're just assuming everything for what? That's what I don't understand. I didn't drink, I didn't do anything wrong. I have no reason to provide you with any sobriety tests or anything like that because I wasn't doing anything wrong. And that's definitely 1000% gonna hold up in court. So the fact that you're making me go through all this for what? Like you're you're really pathetic and you must have a miserable life. Like I, I'm sad for you, genuinely. Cause I genuinely didn't do anything wrong but speed. And that's going to hold up for me in court. And you know that because you can clearly see that I've been through this before. So I know exactly what the f I'm talking about. It's just sad. It's sad that, that this is what you do for a living. I feel bad for you. When Officer Johnson attempted to buckle her seatbelt, Brittany threw a fit, demanding a female officer do it instead. She carried on about not feeling safe with Officer Johnson. In the scuffle, Brittany scratched Officer Johnson's arm, drawing blood. Another officer came to help transfer the flailing woman to a new patrol car. The profane insults continued the entire time. DUI, drinking under the influence, I have not smoked, I do not drink, that is not mine. Do not talk to me, do not touch me. I have a very good lawyer, this is not gonna stand up in court, do not Touch me. Let a female cop see blood over my body. Do not touch me. Oh, now, now you're, now you're gonna let me drive without a seatbelt? That's against the law. 
Yeah. You're letting me drive without a seatbelt over my body? That is against the law. That is against the law. That is against the law. Let a female cop put a seatbelt over my body. I do not feel safe. You're a liar. You said you smell alcohol my breath. That is a lie. Let a female officer put a seatbelt over my body. I do not feel safe with you. And I have an excellent fucking lawyer. So please, I do not feel safe with taking off in this car. I need a female officer to put a seatbelt over my body before we leave. Let that happen. Do not disobey the law. Let a female officer put a seatbelt over my body. Do you understand what I'm saying or not? Do you understand what I am saying or not, officer? It's a question mark. Answer me. That's your job. Answer me. In the other car, they uncovered narcotics, allegedly belonging to Brittany's boyfriend. After the adrenaline of the situation wore off, Officer Johnson sighed. It had been a long night, but he knew he did the right thing getting this intoxicated maniac off the streets. Brittany Bianchi was subsequently convicted of DUI, assaulting an officer, possession of illicit substances, and resisting arrest. For more enthralling true crime stories like this, subscribe to The Evidence.